This video is for all the beekeepers that lost colonies this winter. I've lost one colony out of 94. One colony died. And I placed that video on YouTube. I've had some queens not lay like they should. And I've had to kill a few. And I've had colonies lose their queens. Take their queen out and disperse her somewhere. So I'm down to 83 colonies. And what I do all winter long is I monitor the size of my colonies. And you got to keep in mind, I breed queens all summer long and I have different sized colonies at the end of summer. The ones that started beginning of summer get large and the ones that were created at the end of summer are not large enough to winter outside. So I've already done splits. I split 12 colonies and taken 12 queens from my smallest colonies out of those colonies and put them in the, the split that I left here. And the other 12 colonies I took to a different apiary. And I monitor the size of the cluster all winter long. I don't wrap my hives. You guys are wrapping your hives. And, you know, the reason our bees are having a hard time is from the toxic chemicals in our environment. And our government knows this, but they're in bed with the chemical corporations. You're not going to get a change in this country until the government changes. And there's a new third party being formed. It's called the People's Party. It's already completed its accu uh, registration, I should say. Or whatever in California, Colorado, one more state, and they're going to be forming in all states in the United States. I recommend you join that party, it's called the People's Party. So, okay, back to bees. I monitor the size of the colonies all winter long, and right now it's uh 14th of March, so we're almost done with winter. And this colony here, I haven't downsized this one yet. These are my insulated fillers. R15, I'll take out five frames and I'll give them the best five frames so they essentially become a nuke and a deep. And I'll put that in there and help keep, that helps to keep them warm. And as they grow, I could take out one of these and they become a seven frame. And then they, when they grow a little bit more, I'll take out the other and it's back to a ten frame deep. Very simple method. I don't waste my money on nuke boxes. Today it's in the 40s and you got to keep monitoring the temperature and the size of your colonies. Most of these colonies here were inside overnight, but it warmed up enough where I could bring them out. Bees need to get out. They need to have those cleansing flights. They need to get out and gather pollen. I think the sunshine enjoys, they enjoy the sunshine. It makes them happy in their mood. It increases their chances they want to live. It seems like March, they start dying off on you. And, and if you keep them locked up, it's not good. But these colonies in here are too small for the temperatures. And this one right here happens to be my smallest colony. I take an LED flashlight, which I have set in here. I take an LED flashlight. See, this is five frames, insulated fillers. And I see what they're doing. This is a global pollen patty. Uh, I had a hard time getting it in uh, February to replace what I used that I had left over from last year. Better B didn't have it. So I tried Man Lakes Ultra B, and most of my colonies would not go from the Global Pollen Patty to the Ultra B. So I've had a hard time. I had to wait till the end of February to get Global Pollen Patty from Better B, and that just made it difficult for me to restart my colonies. But I'm managing to get by, hopefully. So I, what I do is I check, see if they're consuming the pollen. If they're consuming the pollen, and there's, there has to be bees on both sides of the frame in order for them to rear brood. They have to keep that frame warm, those cells warm. If you see bees just on one side of the frame, it's not enough. They will never ever be successful at rearing brood. The queen may lay, but it'll just be eggs all the time and they will die. So this colony here, I'm probably going to check today just to see how they're doing. But most all these colonies in here, I've already checked them, they're doing just fine. There's no reason to bother them every single day. If, if you see everything normal, see they're all over. They're, they're consuming that pollen, Patty, on both of them there. So if you've lost honeybees this winter, and there was somebody who placed a video, I'm not going to say who he was, about losing all of his hives, or nearly losing all of his hives. And technically, you didn't lose your hives unless somebody stole them. You should have said nearly losing all of his colonies. And he has a lot of subscribers, so if you want to keep following people don't know what they're doing, that's fine with me. Um, I'm very successful. I lost one colony out of 94, so it's, I call that success. I'm going to have a, another big year. Every year I have more bees. I get bigger and bigger. Eventually I'm going to be selling a lot of honey, okay? Thank you.